All right, now to disturbing new information we've learned about serial murder suspect Kenyell Brown. Detroit police confirmed that in the days and weeks leading up to this confrontation in a backyard, that he was serving as a police informant and was a free man despite multiple probation violations. Let's bring in Sean Lays live tonight with what he has uncovered. Sean, good evening. Kimberly, a source asking a key question tonight. What was it about Kenyell Brown that the feds just had to have him as a confidential informant and apparently had to have him free on the streets despite committing crime after crime. Now we're in this situation where he's suspected in six killings tonight. Detroit's police chief and the U.S. attorney say they're going to get to the bottom of what's gone on here. I was unaware that this dangerous suspect, Brown, was a federal informant. Had no idea. Detroit Police Chief James Craig confirming today that the man suspected of going on a killing spree, Kenyell Brown, was a confidential informant for federal law enforcement last year. And when the feds cut him loose, DPD paid Brown $150 for information about gang activity as an informant of their own. The problem, while working for the feds, Brown broke the law time and again with a DUI and testing positive for a variety of drugs, violating his probation. He should have been locked up but instead was kept on as a federal informant and kept out of jail. And when DPD started working with Brown as an informant last fall, Chief Greg says the feds didn't tell DPD that Brown had violated his probation eight times. So again, troubled because we now have six victims. However, sources say DPD could have checked Brown's record of offenses by looking at his court documents to see Brown's criminal history. Meantime, it is definitely mind blowing. Joe Hicks works with the homeless. He knew Kenyell Brown from the streets and said it was clear from Brown's addictions he should have never been free or a police informant. All his convictions and, and how many times he's put back out, that, that man was a danger to himself and the rest of society. So many questions remain about this. This just in their local for the U.S. attorney for the Eastern District, Matthew Schneider, telling us tonight, quote, this is a horrible tragedy. We are going to do everything in our power to get to the bottom of this matter, saying the victims and their family deserve the facts about what's gone wrong here. Kimberly, back to you. They do. So, Sean, what do we know about Brown? What condition is he in tonight? Apparently uh, suffered a gunshot wound uh, that he inflicted on himself. That was on Monday, right? So yeah. still in critical condition. The chief said today he's in grave condition. Yeah, what a mess. Okay, Sean, thanks.